hello fam happy new year to all of you thank you so much for your support yeah thank you so much for sticking with me till this time guys 2019 is already over and we thank god for letting us see 2020 and we all know that this 2020 is going to be spectacular with the help of god okay so today's video is very simple I'm going to be making bread okay so you can jot some things down and then make some bread for yourself and the family okay guys yeah you don't have to buy it all the time it's very simple you can do it yourself okay as you can see the bread is looking so nice guys I like my bread brown I don't know I'm just weird I do <laughs> But some people don't like it when it's burnt, okay? This is not burnt, but then I just love it brown like this, okay? So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I need to prepare my yeast. So, I'm going to teach you how I prepare my yeast. I need water and then two teaspoons of yeast. Because I'm going to use just um, one kg of flour. Or let's say two pounds of flour. Okay, so you need a lukewarm water. So I have my yeast. I'm going to pour the water and then mix it. And it has some lumps in it, so I think I just have to use my hand. So you mix it thoroughly until it's very smooth. Then you have to leave it in a warm place to rise. So basically that's it. I'll show you the results later. So I have my flour here. It's about one kg or maybe two pounds if you have to change it to two pounds, almost two pounds. And I have a standby flour here because um, let's say I mix my ingredients and it's too much, I just add it to it. That's why I have my standby here, just to be sure. So this was the yeast um, I mixed. So I covered it after mixing it and I kept it in a warm place. You see the foam on it, it means it has risen, okay? So I have my melted margarine here, my eggs. This mixture is a mixture of um, sugar, salt, and also milk, plus just a little bit of water. Guys, don't worry, I'm going to leave the measurements in the description below. And this is my nutmeg. Sorry, I already added my salt to this mixture, the milk, sugar, and salt, and water mixture because um, I just wanted everything to melt. That's the sugar, the salt, and everything to melt. So I use the lukewarm water yeah, to mix these things. So I'm going to get started. Okay. So first of all, I've already washed my hands, so you just create a space in this thing and then in the flour then you add this mixture your milk sugar just a little bit of it okay i want to get a perfect mixture so i don't want to use all of them because i don't want it to be so watery then from there i'm going to add my melted butter I'm going to leave the measurements in the description, so don't worry, guys. And then I'm going to add eggs, my eggs. These are three eggs. Okay. Then I have my um, nutmeg here. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm just pouring all the liquid ingredients into my flour. I'm going to pour everything my yeast here. Okay. So I'm going to let me get everything out of it. So I'm going to mix everything with my hand. You need to wash your hand, guys, like I said earlier. Because basically, you're going to use your hand for a very long time. We keep mixing if you have a mixer feel free to use it okay
You can also add vanilla essence if you want, but the nutmeg is okay for me, guys. I'm going to be adding more flour, so I have to add the liquid, the remaining liquid to it. Cooking is about getting the right measurement, especially baking. If you get the wrong measurement, everything gets destroyed. So don't worry, I'm going to leave all the measurements in the description box, like I said. Okay. So yeah, I'm done with the liquid. This is Ghana sugar break. <laughs> the round one. So there's my standby flour. I'm going to add it bit by bit. Just to get the consistency I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I like this consistency. I'm going to keep it aside and sprinkle flour on my tabletop and then knead it, guys. So yeah, I'm going to sprinkle flour on my tabletop and then knead it. At this point, it's quite soft, but not really soft. Because of the flour on my table chop, it's going to be hard whilst I need it. So I have washed my hands. To add more flour when it's sticky. Whilst kneading it, you stretch it, you know. Keep kneading it with the flour like that. So yeah, just for some time and then you're gonna keep it aside to rise again, okay? To double in size. So yeah, I think it's okay now. So I'm going to keep it in the bowl that I mixed the flour in and cover it. Yeah, so I'm going to cover it to rise for some time before I start kneading it again and then mold it into the perfect shape, guys. Yeah. So I'm going to keep it in a cool or warm area so that it can rise or double in size. Okay. okay, so guys, this is how it looks like after leaving it there for some time. Okay, well, you see it has doubled in size. Yes. So I'm going to be kneading it again. What I have to do is that I have to sprinkle a little bit of flour and then knead it over again. So I need a bit of flour in my hand. Then I start kneading, you know. You need the flour in your hand so that it doesn't stick in your palm. Whilst kneading, you have to, I mean, be stretching it, okay? I'm not 
for like about five to ten minutes okay so that after molding it, um, it can rise again okay. keep stretching it out maybe you know it has to be elastic then you know you are doing the right thing yeah, yeah so i'm going to cut it on that medium yeah i want the same size so i'm going to cut this into two and then maybe cut this into three or four So this is how it looks after molding it. So I'm going to leave it in the oven to rise for some time. I'm going to turn the light on, but then I'm not going to turn the oven on, just the light in the oven, okay? I have to leave it for some time to rise before I start to bake it. So maybe from 30 minutes to one hour, it should rise at this. Then I'll bake it, then that's all. <laughs> This Christmas season, the family will be at home, so you can do this and then everybody can get a bite of it, okay? So, yeah, I'm going to put it in the oven. Yeah, so I'm putting it in my oven. I have turned the light of my oven on, okay? But then, it's not heated, guys, because I want it to rise before I bake it. So, we're going to leave it there for some time. Yeah. Okay, so guys, this is how it looks after keeping it in the oven for some time. It has doubled in size. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to take it out of the oven and preheat my oven so I can bake it afterwards. Okay, yeah. So let me take it out and then preheat my oven. My oven heats very well, so... What I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn it to, let's say, um, 200 degrees for now. But then when it starts, when I put my bread in, I'm going to change it to 150. So 200 degrees just to preheat it. And then from there, I'll change it to 150 to bake my bread. Yeah, so that's it. So my oven has been preheated. I'm going to put my bread in. And wait till it's done. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to bake at 150 degrees Celsius. My oven really heats quickly and it gets hot. That's why I'm baking it at 150 degrees Celsius. As you can see from the oven, it is ready. Guys, so I'm going to take it out and then brush a little bit of butter on it just to make it shiny. Okay guys, so this is it. We've come to the end of another wonderful video. This bread recipe is really simple guys. Try it at home and let me know how it turned out. Okay, so you can comment in the comment section below if you try it. 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet also like this video if you enjoyed it and also share it to people so they can also watch me your friends your family okay yeah i know 2020 is going to be better and greater so thank you so much for sticking with me enjoy 2020 god bless you bye